Have you ever wondered how to host your own website on your own server? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to host your website on AWS, Amazon Web Services, Amplify Hosting. This would allow you to build or take a landing page that's created somewhere else, export the HTML, import it into AWS through GitHub Desktop, and then you can make changes to the basic HTML code so that your website will update live on AWS. You can even connect your own domain and scale up using Amazon's web servers. This will be a tutorial for beginners, so I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and turn on notifications for new videos on this channel. Let's dive in and show you how this all works. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial today. And by the end, you're gonna have this beautiful landing page running on your own AWS cloud. You're gonna be able to make local changes on your machine and then push them to GitHub and it will be live on the web running on the AWS cloud. So this is super cool. Step one here is to head over to desktop.github.com. And whether you have a Macintosh or Windows machine, you're gonna wanna download the GitHub desktop to your machine. And GitHub desktop really just makes it easy to push files to GitHub in another way that's not the command line. So you're not gonna be using the terminal or any technical prompts in the terminal to push your code to GitHub. You're gonna be able to do it visually using the desktop client. So once you install the desktop client, we can go ahead and open it up and you're gonna be at a page that sort of just looks like this on the GitHub desktop client. What we want to do is we wanna create a new repository for this project and a repository is just a place where all of the code lives on GitHub. And that's not really important, but what I'm gonna show you is how to create a repository and push it to GitHub, and then we'll move on to the next step. So if we're in GitHub for desktop, we're gonna go ahead and see our repositories here on the left. These are ones that we've created just for testing, but we're gonna start with a new one here. We have an option to clone, create, or add an existing. We're gonna go ahead and create a new repository. We'll call this one tutorial NCD. We can leave all of these settings alone. The get ignore can be none. The license can be none. We don't need a description. And the local path here is just showing us where all of our code files are going to live on our computer. This will be important later, but for now, just make sure it's a place that you are comfortable with the code living on your computer. Normally, it sets this up for you by default. I'm going to go ahead and hit create repository. And then the final step here is to publish this rep repository. Again, we'll keep the name the same and the description just blank. And we're going to go ahead and I'll uncheck, keep the code private. And I'm going to go ahead and publish the repository. So what is happening here is it's actually sending this repository to github.com, which is just a website where code lives and you can edit code in the cloud. So if we were to head over to github.com and sign in to our GitHub account, we should see this repository tutorial dot and stash ncd in our github account let's actually do that and confirm that it's there okay there it is so we can already see that it's here already no code dev slash tutorial dot ncd if we click into this there's essentially no files here um, except this initial commit and get attributes file which again we don't need to understand what that means for now um, but just know that it's created this repository on github all visually using the GitHub desktop client. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to take the code from this landing page, which is a free template. We're gonna download all the code files to our desktop, and then we are going to publish it to our GitHub repository, and then we're gonna sync that repository to Amazon Web Servers, and I'll show you how to do all of that. So I'll put this link in the bio, but this is just bootstrapmade.com which is a bunch of free bootstrap templates that you can download and use for your own personal use. So I'm choosing this one called Arsha, free corporate bootstrap HTML template. And if we click this free download link, we can use this with limited access for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Once this downloads here, there's a folder on my computer in my downloads. I can click into this and within this folder are all of the files I'm gonna highlight them and copy these 
are all the files that are basically making this site run. So now if we head back over to GitHub Desktop, we can actually see open a repository in your external editor. So we can open this repository in Sublime Text, which is our external editor. As we can see, there are no files here. But if you remember coming back here to the to the repository that we created earlier, this tutorial NCD, we can actually reveal this in our finder on our computer. As we can see here, there are no files in this repository because there's no code in here. We haven't actually built anything. So what we can do is we can take the files that we just downloaded from the template and we can drag them into this repository folder. So now all of the code files from this demo template website are in this tutorial dash NCD folder, which is the, the root folder for our GitHub branch that we're creating. So let's go back here and check this out. If we come back into GitHub for desktop, we are now seeing all of these files have been added to our GitHub desktop client, but they have not been pushed to github.com. So what we're going to want to do is send all of these to GitHub. And what we can say is this is our initial commit. And then we're going to commit it to main. And then we can push origin. Now check this out. If we go out here to github.com, we're actually going to refresh and we're going to see all of the files for this website now are here. So we're going to see the index file, which is the home page. We're going to see all the assets, like the image assets that are making this page happen, like the hero image, for instance, we can see that here. There's the hero image. So all the files are now pushed to the web. So this is super cool, but there's no way to access any of this. It's not living on a website. We haven't published it. We're not live on the web. So that's where Amazon Web Services come in and we're going to connect Amazon Web Services to our GitHub account. And it's super easy. It's a one click connection. So let's head over to Amazon Web Services. Um, I have an account. You can create an account for free. If you um, don't have one, you just simply need to create an account to follow along in this tutorial. So now that we're in our Amazon Web Services account, we're going to use a product called AWS Amplify. So if we go into services and we just search for AWS Amplify, we can click on it here and it'll essentially take us to this page. The fastest easiest way to develop mobile web applications that scale. You can configure backends, you can do all this other stuff, but we are simply going to use Amplify hosting here. So host your web app, connect your Git repository, and continuously deploy your front end and back end hosted on a globally available content delivery network. Great, let's go ahead and get started. When we click get started here, we have some options where we can pull from our existing code. We just pushed all of our code to GitHub. So let's go ahead and choose that and hit continue. This will take a minute to spin up. We've already authorized our GitHub, but if you haven't, it's just like you're signing into your Google account. It's a one click connect. And then once you're connected, you can select your repository and check this out. The repositories that are available here are the same as the ones, if I can find it, that are showing here in our GitHub account. So we're seeing all of these repositories right here, right here in our Amazon Web Services account. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and choose tutorial and CD. And now we have to choose the branch. We're just going to choose our main branch because that's where we published all of our code. Let's go ahead and click next. Again, the app name can be tutorial NCD. There's some advanced settings here and some test settings, which we don't need to worry about. We can just go ahead and click next. Oh, we have to acknowledge that we want to allow AWS Amplify to automatically deploy in all files hosted in your root directory. Yep, that sounds good. So let's go ahead and do that and we can hit save and deploy. So what's going to happen here is it's going to pull all of our code from github.com actually deploy this website tutorial dash NCD live to the web. We could, we could see this happening here. It's provisioning, it's going to build and it's, then it's going to deploy. And when it's all done, we're going to actually see it at this crazy Amazon domain. And I'll show you how you can actually change that to a custom domain. You can even register a domain with Amazon service. I think it's called route 52 and then connect the domain to the site and you'd be running on your own custom domain, which is super cool. While it's doing that, 
I'm going to hop over to a product here called Sublime Text. And Sublime Text is just a code editor um, that you can download for free so that you can easily edit and visualize your code on your local machine. I've opened the folder called Tutorial NCD in Sublime Text. And essentially what I'm seeing here are all of the files, like the index file, the inner page, portfolios detail, and all the asset files that match exactly what we're seeing on our GitHub account. So if we come into our GitHub account, we are seeing all of these files basically just on our local machine here rather than on the web. So if we make a change on our local machine, then we can push it to the web and I'll show you how that all works. So let's head back over here and this is finished already. It looks like it's deployed. Let's test it out. And check it out. We this is you know coming from our Amazon Web Services account, some custom domain dot dot com, and the entire website is functional and built as it indicated in the template. Everything's here. It's working. We can click services. We can click about. We could click portfolio. Everything looks really nice. It's interactive, and we just did this in a matter of five minutes without any code, just using GitHub Desktop and connecting it to GitHub, and then. Amazon Web Services. So super cool. But what if you want to make a change to this site? What do you need to do? Okay, so if we open up Sublime Text, basically everything on the home page lives within the index file. Now you have to be able to sort of navigate through some basic HTML, but it's really quite easy once you know where to look. So this is the the index file. There's some, you know, CSF references and whatnot up here. But basically, this is where everything starts here in the header we can make a small change to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and say we want the name of our business to be no code devs, not Arsha. So we could say no code devs. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to file and we're going to save. We don't want to purchase it. We're going to go ahead and save this change that we just made to the index file where we renamed the site, basically gave it a new title of no code devs. If we head back over to GitHub Desktop, this is already recognized, which is super cool, that we made a change to the index file of our code. And it shows the deletion. We deleted Arsha and it shows the addition, no code devs. But if we were to go to our website, of course, this change is not reflected live on the web yet because we haven't pushed our code to GitHub, which then triggers the sync to Amazon Web Services. So we need to come back here to GitHub Desktop and we need to basically commit this code to the web and we can say changed company name and we need to commit it and then we push to the origin. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've come back here and we can see that Amazon Web Services is already, because it's connected to our GitHub account, it's already recognizing that there was a change made to the code and it's reprovisioning our app, building our changes, and it's going to deploy it live on the web all instantly without us having to do anything except to change the code locally on our machine. And you get the idea. You could come in here. You could change all of the nav bar options. You could change the drop down options. You could change all the copy, the text. You could actually come in here, change the hero image to be something different if you would like. You can basically completely customize this website to be completely your own without really having to know any code. You're just looking through the, the HTML file and making the changes to all of this sort of filler copy text. You could also hire a developer or partner someone with who's more technical if you want to make advanced changes. But what's really cool here is that you're hosting your own website, you know, on your own domain, if you want to connect that on your own server, and you're not paying someone else or like a website builder or hosting fees to host all this for you and do it for you. So you can do it yourself without being a technical person. So let's go back here. It looks like it's still building. And once this finished out, we'll just make sure that our change deployed live on the web. And then, you know, you'll be off and running. You can make any changes that you would like to this landing page. You could download. There's all kinds of different templates here on this bootstrapmade.com. You can also just Google HTML templates. Or like I said, you can also download from a lot of popular website builders like Webflow, a lot of landing page builders, you can actually download the HTML files. So you could download them and then upload them in this exact tutorial and the exact methods that we showed you in this tutorial 
so that you can host your own site and you don't have to pay hosting fees somewhere else, which is super cool. Let's go ahead and back here. Okay, it looks like it's deployed. So let's go ahead and click this link again and check it out. No code devs is now showing as the header slash logo on this site. We could go through this whole site and make all of these changes. We could change the URL for the video here. We could change these logo files for all of the sponsorships. We could change the about us. You get the idea. Everything is super easy to change by just looking through this HTML file. You could sort of just follow along through the page and find this text in this code and to make the changes accordingly. So it's just super, super easy. So in just a matter of about 15 minutes, we've completely installed, built, and launched a website on Amazon Web Services using the Amplify service that they provide. I'll put all the links in the description of this video. I hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you like this video, be sure to comment with any questions and subscribe to our channel for future videos that are like this. Thank you.